Hi, this is Christy Marie Gott. Today I'm going to show you how to design a custom graphic for a button that will have a link. You simply design the graphic and then add a link to it. I'll show you how this one works. You see these on landing pages all the time where you click to access uh, ebooks, libraries, email newsletters, and so on. And on this page, I do happen to have another custom graphic, but this is just simply to draw the eye and, and provide a message. If you want to make more of an impact than the text or highlighted text would make, then you can design a graphic with your own little sign on it. And I'll show you how you upload a graphic like that and add the link to it. Then we'll go to another free program and I'll show you where I designed that particular graphic. So we'll go to the home page for my website and I'll show you how we added the link to that graphic. Okay, here it is. And when you want to add a link to a graphic, you simply click on it the same way that you would click on text. For instance, if I wanted to add a link to this text, I would highlight it and then I would go over here and click on the link button. In this case, instead of adding a link to some text, I'll add it to a graphic. So we click on that click on the link button and you can see up here I've pasted in the link and after you paste that link in then you click update and you may have seen in a previous tutorial that you upload these graphics by using this little area up here where it says upload insert and as you recall when you click on that then you get the media library you can click here to browse and upload graphics from your computer or you can go to your media library which will have all the graphics you've already uploaded. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to make that graphic. It's the same as making a logo or an, uh, that you put in your, in your um, custom header. And there are a lot of free programs you can use. I go ahead and just use Picasa. You can also use um, a variety of other GIMP and so on. Because I like to have the gradient look to the back of the custom, I uh, go ahead and I uh, click on one of my backgrounds that I used to use and I'm going to go ahead and add that text to an area and then I'm going to cut it out to make the the button. So I click on add text and I'll go up here and put oh let's see we'll say uh, click for say newsletter sign up and you might insert a link like this into different pages and posts and we'll go ahead and center that and I think yellow looks good because it has a good contrast against the navy blue and this has a slight black outline that just makes it look a little more crisp. So we do that and we say apply. Then we go over here and click on this crop tool and we'll just do a manual crop and here we go and then I click apply there it is and if we want to add a frame around it in Picasso there's a variety of just you know oodles of different editing you can do let's put a museum mat around it uh, this one's black with white if I want to change it I can click on outer color and make the outer color blue. I could make the inner color oh, brown or light brown or let's try maybe just a light blue and click apply. Then I would go up to here and I usually just click on file and I save those to my desktop. I would just click save as. And then later when I'm 
in my program. For instance, if I want to upload another icon, I would, uh, in order to upload that particular graphic that we just made, I would click this Upload Insert, select files here, and, and so on. So that's how you do it, and as uh, just as a review, then when you've got it uploaded, you click on it, click on the link button, and you will have copied the link that you want to use previously. So just go here and then right click, paste it in, click update, and there you are. Thank you for joining me today. Happy computing and have a great day.